Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, with your lab zip tip of the day. You know, the most frequently asked question is how can I set up a really simple membership system using Responsive? And so today I'm going to show you in just a couple minutes how powerful this can be to have the capability to, let's say, differentiate between uh, regular public viewers of your website, people who are logged in, and people who, for example, are paying for a subscription access to premium content. And we're going to do this off the shelf with our responsive lab zip toolkit. So everything you see here you can get with our just straight up setup. So super easy. All right, well, let's get started. So I've got a demo site set up here using responsive lab zip. And I'm going to show you what's going to be used in this video. So if I go to the admin dashboard, let's go over to our plugin section and start with what we've got. First of all, we've got the members plugin. And this is a role and content management plugin that I'll show you in a second by Justin Tadlock. And it's included in our kit, but you can also download it from the repository by using the Add New button. Um, if I click on Add New, and I type in Members, you can get that here, because that's available publicly. And it's an outstanding plugin. Uh, the second one that we use is the WooCommerce, of course, which is, again, available the same method. You can install it for free, or it's included in our download kit. And lastly, you've got the WooCommerce Subscriptions extension, which we include in here, and that's the thing that allows you to actually sell products and services. But what we're going to do is use that for subscription access control in combination with the members plugin. So how are we going to do that? Well, first understand that by default, when you go under settings general, that WordPress asks you, what is the default user role? And what is a role? Well, think of a role like somebody's label if they're in the military. Am I a private? Am I a sergeant? Am I a general? A four-star general? A president? What am I? And the idea is that carries with it certain meaning, including capabilities. So role is the label or description. Capabilities are what really matter. Like a private can't probably fly in a jet airplane and be saluted, but a general can. So in this case, by default, it's subscriber, but we're going to change that to a default role of customer. And what is the customer role? Well, customer role is uh, uh, something created as part of WooCommerce so that anybody who registers or otherwise buys something through WooCommerce, which is the e-commerce plugin here, will get this role. And they will also be able to access an area called the My Account area. By making this the default role, we're saying, look, anybody can just register right when they're buying, or if they've already bought, they will be registered. We're just bypassing the normal WordPress registration system and using the WooCommerce instead. And I'm going to click Save Changes. Okay, so now we know that anybody who joins a site will get a role of customer. Now what we want to do is make a new role to differentiate between somebody who has paid us money to subscribe. And that way, these people will be given access to content that is otherwise protected from people who have not paid. Make sense? All right. So think of it like somebody who's got a ticket to get inside the nightclub versus somebody who is not. They're going to have the role of a different name. And we're going to use a label, let's say, premium. How do we set it up? Easy. Now that we've activated the uh, plugin for members over here, we're going to go under Users, Roles. Now I want you to be very, very careful here. This is a very, very powerful, powerful tool, but it's also something that's going to make all this magic happen. Don't play around here unless you follow my directions or otherwise know what you're doing. You'll see that we've got the customer role here. If I was to look at the capabilities of that, let's take a peek inside and see what capabilities are there. And you'll notice that the capabilities are a series of checkboxes. And there's really only one that's important here that's checked. It just says read, which means basically they can read only. But remember, it's not so important that we differentiate what they can do with it it's that we differentiate whether they've paid us money. And for that reason, we're going to create a new role to differentiate a name for people who've paid money. And I'm going to use the word premium. You can name it anything you want. In the role name, we can use only certain letters and characters. So you can have ampersands and dollar signs and all kinds of crazy stuff. Just make it simple and lowercase only, like this, OK? In the label, you can do it the way you want to see it. So I can put in the capital. 
or I can even put in, you know, for paid members. This is what you're going to see in the dashboard to remind you of who those people are. Since I already know what premium means, I'm going to leave it just as premium. And again, I'm going to just have read only as the only capability checked. I click the add role button and I'm done. And if I go over here to the roles, you'll see that I now have a new role called premium as well as the original called customer. Now, next step is we're going to go to WooCommerce under the settings tab. Here we're going to go click under the subscriptions option at the top. Now you'll see that we've got some other things we can modify, but for this tutorial, all that's important is the roles area. See where it says subscriber default role? Well, we want to change that, remember, to being a customer. I'm sorry, we want to change that to being premium, premium, which is to say that the inactive subscriber will be a customer. That's just anybody who has ever registered or bought anything. The active or regular subscriber role will be premium. Okay, now I'm going to save that. Now there's other things involved in here which we'll cover in another tutorial, but the concept I want to make sure you understand before you leave this page is what we've done is created a second role with the same capabilities as customer called premium, and that's what's going to be turned on or off when somebody pays for a subscription. Now let's create a subscription. Well, how do we do that? It's really simple. We go under products and we create a new product. I know that sounds counterintuitive. If you feel better about it, you can actually go under WooCommerce subscriptions and do the same thing where you click on add a subscription product. But I assure you, as you can see, it ends up doing the same exact thing. It allows you to create a new product. So let's start with the basics and I'm turning off those tooltips. Let's say we're going to create a one month subscription. Okay, so we'll call it one month subscription call it product. You don't have to call it product. You can call it anything you want, but it's something that should explain what it is. This is premium access for one month. Okay. Now we scroll down the page and we notice that the product data is selecting a product type of subscription. We also want to make sure that it's checking virtual because that will turn off some of the shipping options and things that you don't need or want the customer to have to deal with. Now the important thing is what is the subscription price? So let's say, for example, we set this up that it was a payment of $10 per month. And we can also do by day, week, year, and we could say whether that changes. Maybe it's just a one month total length, or maybe it's two months or a year, or it's just perpetual. All right. You can also do an option of a sign up fee. Now, another thing is I'll notice here, or I notice here that we haven't changed this from pounds, which is the default currency to dollars. So we're going to do that in a second. So let's just leave it as 10 for now. And that way when we convert it to dollars, it won't have any effect. It'll just change to dollars. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on save draft. It's really a good idea to have some kind of meaningful uh, featured image or icon. And in this case, we've got some special ones that uh, are available. We've actually created a plugin called Icondi that there's a, a free sample for that you can use. And I'll show you what these look like. So we've got some clever little options. You can just drag the icon in. And it's kind of fun and bouncy. And you can set that as the featured image, right? One month. Woo. Okay. Click on publish. This will actually make it live. Now, a couple of things we have to do. I want to make sure that we change our permalink structure of this brand new site so that it works properly. I'm not really happy with the way it's set up by default. Permalinks basically allow you to change what shows up in the URL of the browser when people are looking for stuff. And since WordPress 3.0, the database has been optimized in a way that lets you use the post name, which is just the most direct way to do it because it reflects exactly what you put into the title of the post or page you create. And I prefer that and recommend that almost every single time. All right, so now we've got that we could go back over and check out our new product in the shop. And the way we can do that is to go to, oh, you know what, I take it back. We want to do one more thing. Remember I said we want to change the default currency. So let's go to WooCommerce settings and make sure that, see here, we're not in the United Kingdom. You don't hear me talking in British, do you? I'm not talking in British, I'm talking in American. Um, we're going to change this to United States, and in particular, Illinois. So United States, scroll down to Illinois. Then you put in your state because this will be important if you have to charge sales tax or report it. And then we're going to save that. All right, fantastic. 
Good. Now let's go and visit the site. We're going to open that in a new tab. And now we'll click on the shop link. And here's our product. And although we can do some styling and make this a little bigger or change the background, here's the cool thing. If somebody wants to sign up now, they can click on this for more info. Okay, so now we see our product and, you know, it's pretty cool. We can tweak this and change some colors and do some other things. But the basic idea is that if they want to sign up, they can click sign up now and they'll be taken to the checkout page where we can get their credit card or PayPal or whatever. And once they go ahead and sign up now, they will basically have their role changed to that of premium. So how do we protect content? That's pretty easy too. Let's say we're working with some uh, video content or maybe let's just make it simple. We'll just put another image in place. So you can actually create pages or posts that have protected content. And the way you do that is again, we can go back to our admin dashboard and let's say we're going to create a new post. We'll say add new. And in this, we're going to have some stuff that we want only to be visible for premium access only for premium members a picture whatever something simple now once again we can add some new media and we can drag it in let's say I'll let's just make it simple um, I'll add in a new similar icon to image here's a different version of the one month uh, icon and I'm going to insert that into the post okay now the simplest way possible is to go ahead and use the content permissions tab this is what the members plugin adds and what we can say here is that for this post, we want to say the only people who can see that would be somebody who has premium role or the premium role, right? If this makes sense, the idea being that, of course, the admin can see it, but the idea is that a regular uh, customer or any other lower role cannot see it, okay? And I can finish the rest of the posts as I wanted, but what I'll do is for now, just publish this. And now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to open it up, but you'll notice when I'm in as the admin that I can see this because the admin can always see it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new browser and I'm going to copy this. Let me just open this up and scale this browser for you. And in a browser where I am not otherwise logged in, this is what is going to be seen. See, there's the default message, sorry, but you don't have permission to view this content. And that's exactly how this system works. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and change that message, it can be done by going under the settings, members, and the default message across everything could be modified here. So instead of saying, sorry, you don't have permission to view the content, you could say, you know, join now. And what we could do is even put a link there to the shop page. So we could type in ahref equals slash shop, which happens to be the URL of our shop page where that subscription button is. And then we can close that tag. And now the default message will be different and give us a link. Watch this. So I save that. And now I'm going to go back to my browser where I'm not logged in and I'll refresh this. And now there's a link that can take me to the page where, yes, now I can actually go ahead and subscribe. So this is the basics of how the Responsive Lab Zip system works to create membership capability right out of the box. And I hope you'll see that this can be extended in many other ways that we'll go into in further videos. Until that time, this is Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.